What we're going to get into next is we are, I'm going to show you how a student is going to access the assignment and turn that assignment in. Okay, so from either this screen here, I can click this and go to view details. And this is really the main screen of an assignment. Or I can go to classwork and I can click on this as well. And this shows me that it's missing and I can go to view assignment. Okay, and it's the same screen for 4.33 Mexican War. Okay, this is sort of the basic screen of an assignment. You can see here, this is where instructions will be. So it says, please use the reading right here to fill out the organizer. And then the vital, vital piece is the your work piece right here. Okay, that is where students are going to access their actual worksheet and they're going to turn in the assignment as well. Okay, so I'm going to sort of pretend to do this assignment to show you as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and use this reading. So I'm going to click on that reading. That's going to open up a new page. Keep in mind, I as a student cannot edit this. So 20, 100 students could be on this document at once and they are not allowed to type on it. Okay, you can see I'm trying to type. You can hear the keyboard and it does not. It says request edit right there. Okay, so that is my sort of reading. And then the next piece, if I go to your work, it's going to open up my document. This is only my worksheet. This is not shared with other students. So let's say I do the reading, I look, I answer the questions, I type in my answers here, and let's say I'm all finished. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and double check my work. What you are going to do now, which is very important, once you are finished, you are going to press that turn in button there. Make sure that students are pressing that turn in button because the teacher does not know that this is filled out until the student actually turns it in. Then it will notify that they have turned it in. You could, this is also a Google Doc, so it saves everything the student does. So I can exit out of this document and I can open it back up and it's still going to have that work saved. Okay, so let's say I've, I've finished the document. I can go ahead and press turn in here and boom, that will notify the student or that will notify the teacher that it is turned in. Okay, so now if I go back to this upcoming here, if I go to view all, this assignment went from missing to turned in done late. Okay, so the reason it says done late is because it's past the due date. But if I was to do the same thing with this one here, if I click on the assignment, not me to do that. If I click on view details and I turn this assignment in, and I go back, it says no work due because I turned it in. Okay. Now I'm going to unturn it in to show you what it's gonna look like on the calendar. So bear with me. Students can also unsubmit if they want, if the teacher maybe provides them feedback and says, hey, can you go back to look at question two? They can unsubmit, they can re-edit and also turn it back in. Oh, sorry about that, I should go back here. All right. So that is how you actually turn in the assignment. So once the assignment is turned in, okay, if we look at 4.33, the assignment that we turned in, it now says turned in or turned in late, okay? For example, this assignment here is also turned in. That means I have turned it in. But if you look at 4.3.1, it says return. This means that Ms. Mullen has looked at my assignment, she has graded it, she may has she has made provided feedback and has now returned it to me, okay? So if I go to view assignment, you can see here, when it says returned, she may have looked at grade, and it's, she even gave me feedback, says really nice job. So that way I know that she has looked at it, that it is counted, okay? Same thing, if I go to my stream and I go back and look at the work, you can see the check mark means that she returned it, okay? So there's really four statuses an assignment for your child can be. They can be assigned, which means 
that they have not done it yet and that it has not passed the due date because you can see this is due April 3rd and I'm actually making this video on April 1st. It can be turned in, meaning your student has done the assignment, they've submitted it, and the teacher has not yet looked at it, or there can be a check mark, which means that the teacher has looked at it, they have returned it, and you can see here this little um, this little sort of uh, dialogue box shows that Ms. Mullen even left a comment on my assignment, okay? And then the last one is missing, okay? So assignments can either be assigned, they can be turned in right here, they can be returned, or they can be missing, okay? So that is the four statuses of an assignment.